Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. KFC runs out of imported potatoes for chips, or that is um, french fries for, for you Americans, snubs local farmers in Kenya. This article is taken from The Citizen. Excuse me. Fast food chain KFC has suffered a shortage of potatoes at its outlets in Kenya following delays in delivery from its overseas suppliers forcing it to offer customers alternative food items in place of French fries. The firm's chief executive for East Africa, Jacques Tunison, told the Business Daily Monday that the shortage of chips, as they are commonly known, was due to a hitch in global supply of potatoes. It has to do with delays in shipping lines due to the COVID situation. Ships have been delayed for more than a month now, but we are working hard to restore as the first containers are arriving in the port tomorrow, today, uh, said Mr. Dennison. KFC, which operates locally through franchisee Cuckoo Foods East Africa, does not source potatoes locally on global quality standards. <clears throat> the firm added that it cannot bypass the approve, approval uh, procedures to allow local farmers to supply to fill in the gap. The reason we cannot buy local at the moment is all suppliers need to go through the global Q&A approval process and we cannot bypass that even if we run out to ensure that our food is safe for the consumption by our customers, he said. This is said to deny local farmers whose product goes to waste during harvesting seasons the chance to reap from the lucrative tenders, especially during shortages like this. It is also not clear why it has not taken why it has taken the company more than 10 years to vet local farmers or support value chain to meet its standards like the case with other multinationals. KFC said that during the period when French fries will not be able uh, available in its outlets in Kenya, customers will be offered swap options with items such as chicken, buns, soda, coleslaw, and ugali for combo meals. This comes at a time potato has become the second most important food crop after maize, grown by 800,000 small-scale farmers and generating employment for an estimated 2.5 million people along the value chain. It is estimated to contribute more than 50 billion shillings or $442 million to the Kenyan economy. The International Potato Center, CIP, argues that improved potato production has the potential to significantly boost farm incomes. China is the world's largest producer, harvesting more than 73 million tons of the commodity a year. KFC is grappling with the shortage of the popular fries at its local outlets at a time Kenya has seen increased interest from global fast food outlets such as sandwich chain Subway and ice cream seller Cold Stone Creamery. I, I wouldn't recommend Subway. The quality of their food is, is uh, in my opinion, is not up to par. Uh, Africa, you need to make sure you keep out these uh, GMO foods, you know, the genetically modified organism foods. You, know, you want uh, to stick with your uh, time-tested organic food. Rising disposable household incomes, fast economic growth, and a young population are attracting global players to emerging markets, according to a study by McKinsey. Nairobi also hosts multiple multinational organizations attracting the global restaurant operators. Apart from walk-in patrons, KFC is also reaping revenues from its delivery services. The company made 30,000 food deliveries in Kenya in November 2018 alone, 
contributing to 60% of the total deliveries in the East African region. KFC started operations in Kenya in 2011. In East Africa, it also has shops in Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda. I wonder if their farmers are going through the same thing. The total number of outlets operated by the fast food chain in East Africa are 35. However, there are more than 24,000 KFC outlets in more than 145 countries and territories around the world. This does not at all surprise me coming out of Kenya. Kenya is a hub for globalization. Okay, and Uhuru Kenyatta, President uh, Uhuru, is nothing but a globalist. Uh, he is selling his country out, and this is just one more piece of evidence of that. He didn't uh, start this contract, this agreement with KFC, because it was started by his predecessor, who obviously was another globalist. But uh, he hasn't done anything to get rid of this agreement um, where his farmers could be his his um, farmers could be making a half a billion dollars, uh, the potato farmers. Uh, so you know, just one more thing about the Kenyan government under the. Uh, Uhuru administration that shows that uh, this man is a globalist and he's just selling his country out.